Nails Next Top Nail Artist, Passport Perfection, sponsored by Koopa. Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you Challenge 9 for NTNA Season 7. This is sponsored by Koopa, and they were so kind to send each of us a Manny Pro Passport. I got to get the ever so shiny Rose Gold, and the theme of this one is called Passport Perfection because we were supposed to create a design based on one of their passport names. I chose to go with Mermaid. I just, as soon as I saw the challenge, I envisioned a mermaid in her oasis with all kinds of fish and an octopus and a turtle. And I decided to do something a little crazy and I made the mermaid's tail swim. And I only used Koopa nail products for that, which was something that definitely took a little bit of mind thinking. So I hope you guys like this as much as I do. And don't forget to click vote on Monday. I will put a link in the description box of when it is available. Available, so check back for that and I will hopefully see you next week too. Bye! Sculpt the base for your mermaid with the color Sergeant Angel. This nail should only be the length of the mermaid's body. Sculpt your skin tone with a combination of divinity powder and natural and white and a little bit of retired pirate. Using natural in the flesh tone gives the skin a realistic translucency. Mix the color and test it to see if you have the ratio right. Sculpt her head and torso on the nail. Make sure that you plan the placement ahead so that the base of her hips rests at the tip of the nail. Sculpt the base strands of hair with the color After Party, then use a mix of Sergeant Angel and Silent Disco at her roots, and your friend's ex-girlfriend at the tips to create a gradient. Add her eyebrows and lash line with the tiniest amount of acrylic possible. On a piece of paper, draw out the shape of her tail. Make sure that the width of the top of the tail matches up with her hips. Place a nail form backing over the drawing and sculpt the tail. Use a rainbow of colors, but the gradient doesn't need to be smooth. If you want, you can swirl the colors with the tip of your brush. Dip a craft knife into clear acrylic polymer and use it to cut the tail in half lengthwise. Then cut each side into several segments. The more segments you cut, the more movement the tail can have. Paint a strip of gel top on a nail form backing. After it's cured, you'll have a flexible membrane to hold your tail together. Look at that movement. Glue each segment to the tail membrane. Leave a small gap between the segments to allow for movement. Check it periodically to make sure it's working as planned. Attach the mermaid's tail to her body and blend it up with your friend's ex-girlfriend. Apply Madame Bejeweled in a very thin layer over the entire tail. Here comes the fun part, time to carve in her scales. Look how shiny this e-file is. Plus how quiet, just listen to it. Carve in the scales with a narrow bit, hold your e-file at a 90 degree angle to the nail. The goal here is to just file through the silver layer to reveal the rainbow underneath. Add some duochrome powder accents to her hair and tail fin, start with a thin layer of gel top and burnish the blue green chrome over it. Create a gel paint with gel top. Mix white divinity powder into the gel top to create a milky white paint, and then mix black chrome powder into the gel top to create black paint. Check your ratios while you're mixing to make sure that there's enough pigment while still being workable. With those paints, add some details to her face, hair, and body. Tear a nail form on the perforated line and add this extra piece to another form to create even extra extra length. Create a water background with Sergeant Angel as a base and half length for the sunbeams. Double dip beads of shimmery pastels with Lady King and apply these combos in sections for individual corals down the nail. Use your 3-in-1 bit to define the edges of the corals. Use a slow to medium speed and make sure that both your hands are planted on your table. Using the under nail cleaner bit, start carving in the coral texture. Assign a texture to each color. In the green corals, carve interlocking L shapes. As you're carving, make sure that you monitor how much product you have to work with so you don't accidentally file through the nail. With a backfill bit, carve in horizontal layers. This bit removes acrylic fast, so turn down your speed, don't rush, and monitor how much pressure you're using. Still using that bit, carve in finger shapes into the pink corals. The most important thing to remember when you're doing intricate carving is to enjoy the process. Take your time and it'll all come together. After you're done with all your carving, you can start filling in your reef with sea life, including an octopus, eels, anemones, a variety of fish, Find a balance between plenty of animals that add the bright color and keeping enough of your wonderfully beautiful carved corals visible. Add chrome accents to the sea life to help make them look more shiny and wet. Finish the 3D artwork with matte and glossy gel top. Using both in the contrast will help add more drama and movement to your reef. For the thumb, grab a multicolor bead of Sci-Fi Crush, Retired Pirate, and Lady King. Always start with the lightest colors and then dip into the darker ones. Create layers of the tricolor acrylic down the length of the thumbnail. Build it up in layers and allow them to swirl into a soft pattern. Using your under nail cleaner bet, carve a rippled ocean bottom shape. First carve in the basic line for each ripple and then go through and deepen them. Sculpt layer large pieces of coral for the thumb. I created a staghorn coral with Lady King, beginning with the individual shapes and then attaching them and bulking them up. Smooth out any of the sharp edges with your under nail cleaner. When you're filing around curves, make sure you hold the e-file at a 90 degree angle. Create a hole in the middle of each pillar coral using a very high speed. 
Start building your coral reef. Arrange the coral so there's a mix of textures and colors and shapes over the nail. Leave some gaps in the reef for your turtle and your fish. Sculpt your turtle's body around a straw. Place the straw so that the ends are where the turtle's front flippers are. Add her back flippers and thicken up the acrylic. Just like the other elements in this design, make sure you have extra product to allow for carving. Apply a very thin layer of Retired Pirate over the back of her shell and her flippers. Adjust your liquid to powder ratio to allow the color to be applied almost like a paint. Add some shading to the middle of the shell with Lady King, again using very thin product. Use the same techniques to apply Sci-Fi Crush over the underside of the shell. Carve in the design on the turtle shell. As you're carving in lines, use a pulling motion as if you're pulling the bit towards the palm of the hand holding it. The more pressure you use, the thicker the lines will be. Vary the thickness of lines to add variety to the pattern. Check your reference photos while you're working on the shell to add realism. Add her head. Create some of the same patterning across the top of her neck and her face. String a clear acrylic cylinder through the hole in the body and glue her front flippers to the cylinder. Then add more of your woodland creature color to secure the flippers in place and add texture and coloration to the rest of the turtle. Place the turtle in the reef along with some fish. Use a mix of colors and shapes for your fish and try to place them in contrasting areas within the reef. Finish them with smaller details and some chrome highlights. I wanted the overall feeling of this set to be peaceful and happy and colorful and bright, just like I consider myself to be. I absolutely love the movement of that mermaid tail. And there's another little surprise, you guys. There's a cute little eel that can swim through the hole in the ring finger, just to say hello. I love every element of this design. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. And if you would love to, please vote for me on Monday. I am grateful for each and every one of your votes. This whole experience has been just an eye-opener for me. I have learned so much throughout this whole competition. So thank you for everything, and I hope to see you next week as well. Bye!